thought-provoking, and it'll be very stimulating as the week unfolds. The business of prosperity, which is our topic this week, the business of prosperity, training to win versus training not to lose. Those things are similar, but they're not the same. And our challenge in accomplishing the things we desire is how well can we get about the business of accomplishing. Many times we don't realize that everything in our life is a business that we engage in. The business of surviving as a business person as opposed to the business of impacting an industry are similar but not the same. When you are trying to survive in your business, you're trying not to lose. When you are impacting the industry because of the market share you hold, now you are about the business of winning. And too often we are trained on how not to lose versus training to win. So we don't raise the question, how well are we impacting the industry? We don't look at economics as winning, we look at it as not losing. Do we have enough money to pay our bills? Do we have enough money to continue to operate? Do we have enough money to support our families? That's training not to lose. Training to win is am I generating the economics that can transform a community? That's training to win. Training to win is do I have the people who have influence and power coming to me to determine how they want themselves to make decisions that affect their community. That's training to win. Training to win is wanting to be endorsed by people who are trying to make influence and impact in an environment or society. That's training to win. In education, it's the business of prosperity. When you begin to win, you begin to use that education to transform people, circumstances, conditions, events, directions. You begin to monitor the history books that articulate your history as a people and as an individual, and they come to you for approval on what's going to be in that book. When you are training not to lose, you are learning history to get a good grade. You are learning history to teach to uh, get the appreciation and approval of your teacher. You are learning your history to show your teacher you understand what they've taught. That's training not to lose. And we've been set in motion to train not to lose. In entertainment, you are trained not to lose. You want a job. You want a contract. You want to be on tour. You want to be in movies. You want to be in music. That's training not to lose. When you are training to win, you are impacting the direction that the music industry goes. When you are training to win, you are the determinant for what gets put on the screen that's appropriate and inappropriate. When you are training to win, you will focus on using your skills, your attributes, your talents, and your expertise to shape and direct an entire group of people, an entire country, an entire world. You are impacting and using your impact on the industry to shape other countries by looking at the culture that you reflect. When you're training not to lose, you're just happy to be in the picture and the damage that you're doing to your community or the world is irrelevant. You just want to get paid. So we are constantly being shown how to train not to lose. And our job and our responsibility is how do you train to win? And when you train to win, you're talking about impact. You're talking about control. You're talking about direction. You're talking about purpose. You're talking about the things that shape and cultivate our environment. Over to you, Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry about that, Ed. I'd like to thank you for calling in today to our morning inspirational message. We hope you have been able to garner some of the things that are vital to our transformation, vital to our growth, vital to our development, and vital to our purpose. It is our desire that you begin to focus on the business 
of prosperity. It's our desire that you begin to focus on training to win. It's our desire that you begin to understand the differences between training to win versus training to not lose because prosperity is something you earn as a result of what you do. We'd like you to call a friend, call a family member, begin to share with them what are we doing how are we doing it? And are we focusing on winning? Are we putting a one-to-one -one correspondence between prosperity and winning versus surviving and losing? Begin to have that dialogue. Begin to have that communicate. Begin to discuss the things that are many times not discussed. The beauty of this medium is you can revisit it. You can evaluate it. You can study it. You can begin to look at it relative to the circumstances and conditions that affect your life today, which will reconfigure and transform how you see tomorrow. Take a moment to log into our YouTube channel. Leave a question. Leave a comment. Leave a concern. Subscribe to the channel. Discuss what you see and what you hear and what you learn and what you have now begun to increase your understanding of. We look forward to bringing you this message of optimism. Why? Because we can change. We can move from not losing to focusing on winning. Positive expectations and prosperity are synonymous. We can put those things together and create the environment, create the world, create the things that we want, which will stimulate our growth and activate our capacity to be prosperous, a capacity to expand and our increased development. Have a great and fantastic day. And go out and make your life free, happy, and fulfilled. Transform, convert, uplift, and evolve those around you. Touch their lives and generate a new light in them for those things that will help them, help you, help our community, and help our environment. Have a great and fantastic day. This is your friend and brother, Brother Tambuzi, saying we'll see you next time. And go out and get it.